Welcome back you beautiful people. In this quick video, I'm going to show you guys how to actually run your first PHP page. And we're going to do that by going back into File Explorer and heading over to our XAMPP and then htdocs directory. And what we did previously was we renamed our old PHP file and we created a new index.php file. Now, assuming you have uh, some application installed where you can edit the file, for example, VS Code. And if you don't know how to do that, you can, of course, uh, Google how to install VS Code. It's pretty easy. And I want you to right click on the index.php file and I want you to go to open with code. And what you should see is something familiar because we already entered hello in the last uh, episode, the last video. And this is just plain text. Now, the thing is an index.php file, well, a PHP file in general can have both text, as you see here, plain text, absolutely plain text, or it can have PHP code itself. That's the code that will be executed by the web server. So what we want to do is remove completely this hello. And instead, you want to add the tag, which is right arrow p question mark php and we're going to close that off by a question mark and a right arrow so a left arrow and then a right arrow okay and whatever is within this piece we call this a block whatever is within this php block will be executed as php so it has to be valid php being coded inside of here so the first thing we should do is let's learn the echo command because what the echo command does is it prints to the page it prints an output so the same way we had hello which was up here and that automatically was displayed by the browser we're going to do that same thing but do it in PHP so in order to show that hello in PHP we'd have to type in here E C H O space. And you can use either uh, normal code, single codes or double codes. And we're going to use single codes, but you can do the double codes if you want and just type hello. And of course, close up the quotes. And at the end of each PHP line, we always add a semicolon and that should be equivalent to what we just had, which was hello. Uh, just to make things a little bit more clear, we can always have hello world to make it a little bit different. And now that we've done that, we need to make sure we save it. And now we open up a browser and we head back over to localhost. And ta-da, congratulations. If you were able to see hello world, it means that you've this was the first time you executed PHP code. And with PHP code, you may be wondering, well, what's the point of PHP code? Well, PHP allows you to do more dynamic stuff. So you'll be able to change uh, what outputs here if you want, as opposed to if you typed it in the plain text like this, you could, you could never program to uh, change this per se. But when you're outputting through uh, PHP, you can actually change the output depending on the user. And that's the point of PHP and it's the point of server side scripting. Uh, so that, with that being said, I don't want to keep you back, uh, but look out for other videos with, which will get a little bit more uh, in depth with PHP as we continue to create these uh, videos and uh, these uh, new features for uh, what we're about to create. So with that being said, thank you so much for viewing. Make sure to like and subscribe as we continue on learning PHP.